Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Mark Twain said, if you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. For this video, I'm going to pretend that Michael Mann's wildly fraudulent hockey stick graph is an accurate representation of the past thousand years of Earth's history. And I'm going to show how this graph creates all kinds of contradictions for its proponents. The hockey stick graph shows cool temperatures for 900 years until the year 1910, and then suddenly Earth started heating up out of control. The U.S. government has used the hockey stick graph to try to show a correlation between carbon dioxide levels and Earth's temperature. This is part of a large-scale effort to demonize the use of low-cost, reliable energy like coal, oil, and natural gas. According to proponents of global warming theory, when carbon dioxide levels are low and temperatures are low, the climate is very stable and safe. If they were correct, the climate should have been very nice from the year 1000 through the end of the 19th century. There shouldn't have been a lot of droughts during this 900 year period. But unfortunately for them, that doesn't seem to be the case. The American West experienced multi-century droughts between the years 900 and 1300. For much of the last 1,200 years, there wasn't enough precipitation in California to support a large population. But the 20th century was the wettest on record in California, which allowed tens of millions of people to move there. The most equitable climate in California occurred during the 20th century, which is the blade of the hockey stick. In California experienced very severe multi-century droughts back when carbon dioxide levels were low and temperatures were low. If the hockey stick is correct, it can lead us to only one conclusion. Global warming is a good thing. Based on the hockey stick, global warming is what made the nice climate of the 20th century in California possible. Scientists have known about these multi-century droughts for a hundred years. The work was first published in 1922. During these multi-century droughts, lakes in the Sierra Nevada mountains dried up completely. Ancient tree stumps have been found at the bottom of Mono Lake and other lakes in the Sierra Nevada. The New York Times reported in 1994 that these droughts were not only much longer, but they were also far more severe than recent droughts. And they said that these droughts coincided roughly with a warmer climate in Europe. The Anasazi people dominated the Southwest for many hundreds of years before they were wiped out by a 70-year-long drought during the 13th century. These mega droughts don't make sense in the context of the hockey stick and the belief system of its proponents. But these droughts could have been explained using the 1990 version of the United Nations graph. Had Michael Mann not erased the medieval warm period, it would have been very easy to explain the drought. What the United Nations did was they replaced a graph which could have explained Earth's history with one that can't. By adopting this fraudulent graph, the United Nations has created a very fundamental contradiction for their belief system. Why would California want to go back to the disastrous low CO2 climate of a thousand years ago? By adopting the hockey stick graph, they made a very clear case for never wanting to go back to a low CO2 climate. I'll be doing more videos like this discussing other historical bad weather. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on this tangled web of deceit for the past 14 years. You can visit Toto, Kyrie, Caesar, Tokyo, and Opla on the web at realclimatescience.com.